Good morning, friends. Today, my new book, Greater Things, comes out, but I'm honestly not sure how I feel about this fact. On one hand, I'm, I'm super proud of it. Uh, it looks great. Our designer, Jeff Moore, put together a really good cover. The interior looks sharp. I, I think it's going to be fun to hold. Hopefully, when I see it here in a little bit, it'll look good. I'm also honestly proud of the content. Uh, it's, um, I think it's good storytelling. Um, it's got some good theology, some things, some practices, which I hope will help you in your work. But at the same time, I know what it takes to be successful as a writer today and the platforming that it takes and the publicity that it takes and the marketing. And I'm honestly not sure how I feel about that. And it's a little bit weird for a publisher to say that he's not really sure, the, the head of a Christian publishing company, to say he's not really sure about marketing and publicity. So I've decided to create a set of videos to talk about this essential kind of paradox and um, also to look back on what we've been doing in Christian publishing for the last couple of decades and maybe to explain a little bit, not only about the book, but also about what we hope to do with Invite that's a little bit different, a little bit better. Um, one of my favorite authors, Ernest Hemingway, the story goes that he reached a point in his life when he decided he wanted nothing to do with the public publishing process any longer. Um, he apparently would finish manuscript. He'd send it to his editor, to his agent, and he'd say, y'all take care of it. He wanted nothing to do with uh, the production process, uh, the press tours, the royalties, nothing. He just wanted to focus on the work. I, I think what for him as a creative, he realized that all that work was actually bad for his soul. I'm not sure he would have said that. Um, that's that's my language. Based on my own experience, I, I think that sometimes all the platforming is not good for a person's soul. Now, the problem is that we live in an age of personal branding. We live in an age in which you need to platform in order to be successful. So if you believe in an idea that that's what you have to do to engage with the public about the idea for that idea to have any influence, so it's like you almost have to go through something that you know is kind of spiritually corrosive in order for the idea to be successful. Um, that's a challenge. The problem with platforming is people. Uh, one of my mentors, Lynn Sweet, has this thing he used to do. I don't know if he still does this. When he would uh, start a session, uh, he would say, good morning, saints. And people would say, good morning. Then you'd say, good morning, sinners, and people would laugh because they don't want to say good morning back after being called a sinner, but they'd realize that that's kind of the essential uh, paradox of the Christian faith, uh, that we are both saints and sinners, that we are capable of great good and great evil altogether. And I think all that's tied up in the, the platforming process and in the writing process. Um, and so I want to I want to work through that with you on a set of videos. This is the first of what will hopefully be about 10 videos to kind of walk through uh, some some history of where we've been as a church and in Christian publishing, uh, what I've come to learn, and what we hope with Invite to do a little bit differently. Uh, so hopefully you'll hang with me. This is going to be kind of personal. It's going to be kind of hard, but uh, I think it's, it's for uh, the sake of us maybe doing something that's uh, hopefully good for the kingdom. Uh, if you could please uh, like and share this video, I'll post one of the day over the next uh, several days uh, here moving forward. Thanks a lot.